Hello everyone. I am Ms. Priyanka Sanjalate, working as lecturer at Moa Education Society's Moa Ruler Institute of Pharmacy Sone. In this presentation, I am going to discuss topic that is classification of natural drugs. This topic we will discuss for first year D pharmacy students. Content of presentation, definition of good drugs, classification of good drugs, difference between organized and unorganized drugs, difference between leaf and leaflet. Firstly, we will discuss definition of good drugs. The good drugs obtained from different natural sources are used in treatment of wide spectrum of diseases. Good drug is obtained from natural source like animal, plants, mineral origin, intended to be used for diagnosis, mitigation, cure, treatment, prevention of diseases or disorders of human beings. For their adequate study, it is necessary to arrange them in scientific and systematic manner. Then the next point, classification of good drugs, they are classified by following ways. First class, alphabetical classification. Second one, taxonomical classification. Third one, morphological classification. Fourth one, pharmacological classification. Fifth one, chemical classification. Sixth one, chemo taxonomical classification. We will discuss one by one. First class, alphabetical classification. In this classification, good drugs are classified or arranged according to their alphabetical order. Some of pharmacopoeia and reference book. First one, British Pharmacopoeia in English. Second one, British Pharmaceutical Codex in English. Third one, United States Pharmacopoeia in English. Fourth one, Pharmacopoeia Internationalized in Latin. Fifth, Indian Pharmacopoeia in English. Sixth, British Herbal Pharmacopoeia in English. The drugs are arranged in alpha order are as follows. For example, A for Acacia, B for Benzoin, C for Cinnamon and Clo. However, this type of classification does not help in distinguish the drugs from plants, animals or mineral sources and also does not indicate whether they are organized or unorganized. Then the second class, taxonomical classification. It is a type of biological classification and restricted mainly to good drugs from plant source. In good drugs are classified according to the plant and animal from which they have obtained their phylum, order, division, class, family, genus, species and subspecies. It is criticized for its failure to recognize the organized and unorganized nature of good drugs in their morphological studies. For example, licorice. In licorice, the phylums are Spermatophyta, Divisions, Angiosperm, Class, Dicotyloledons, Family, Leguminosis, and Genus, Astragalus. Animal drugs are classified as fish, arthropods, mammals, etc. Most of the good drugs do not represent whole plants or animals. Minerals get excluded from this classification. Then third one, morphological classification. In this classification, good drugs are classified according to the part of plant which is used for medicinal purpose. 
होल द होल प्लांट और पार्ट ऑफ द प्लांट ऑल्सो यूज इन वसा का लूज पार्ट आर यूज इन सिनेमॉन द बाग पार्ट आर यूज इन क्लो द फ्लावर्स पार्ट आर यूज एंड इन कोरियंडर फ्रूट्स आर यूज then the illustrations of morphological classification in that the first parts of plant woods for example drugs sandalwood second one bark then the drugs arjuna cinchona kurchi cinnamon third one flowers drugs are used clove rose saffron phanthrum fourth one leaves digitalis senna vasaka tulsi coca fifth one fruits funnels coriander lemon orange sixth one seeds linseed nutmeg naxomica colchicum seventh roots ralphia turmeric eighth gums acacia tragacan gati ninth dried juice aloe red gum kino and tenth extracts catechu agar and gelatin this type of classification is more convenient for practical purpose even if the chemical nature is not known a drug can be studied for pharmacognostic characters this type of classification is very useful in identifying the adulterants used since some drugs do not represent the exact morphological parts it is difficult to classify them properly in the natural state could drugs from plant source can be readily distinguished but operations like collection drying preparation for the market produce distortions of the natural from making they are recognized very difficult recognition very difficult the morphological characters however do not reflect on chemical composition and biological behavior of a good drugs animal and minerals are difficult to classify by this method then the next class fourth pharmacological classification under this system of classification the drugs are classified according to pharmacological actions of their chief constituents thus the drugs similar in their action are put together regardless of their morphology biological behavior and chemical nature the illustration of pharmacological classification in that first the pharmacological action carminative examples coriander caraway cinnamon and clove the second pharmacological action purgatives the example aloe senna rhubarb third cardiotonics for example digitalis quill strophanthus arjuna fourth anthelmintics for example artemisia melphon cassia fifth anti cancer example podophyllum vinca taxus sixth anti spasmodics example hyoscyamus datura stramonium seventh anti amoebic for example kurchi ipicacua eight bitters for example gentian cinchona naxomica the special advantages which the methods enjoys is that even if the content of cool drugs are not known they can be classified properly on the basis of therapeutic or pharmacological property cool drugs used as pharmaceutical aid do not find any place in this class however the drugs which are dissimilar in their action of mechanism even through their therapeutic effect is same for example bulk purgatives irritant purgatives etc bracket complete are put together 
it is also possible that the same drug with two different actions on the body may be classified separately at both the place for example cinchona is group as anti malarial and bitter and noxomica as bitter and stimulant then the next class fifth chemical classification this type of classification is applicable to cool drugs containing similar types of chemicals it is useful for phytochemical studies of cool drugs illustrations of chemical classification in that first the type of chemicals alkaloids for example aconite cinchona noxomica vinca ipecac belladonna opium and tea second one second chemicals glycosides examples digitalis senna allo licorice third lipids castor oil cod liver oil peanut oils fourth chemical volatile oils examples peppermint clo eucalyptus fifth one tannins for example catechu and kino six types of chemical vitamins examples cod liver oil shark liver oil yeast seventh chemical resins and resins combination for example benzoin balsam tolu asafoetida eight carbohydrates and derived product examples agar honey starch tragacanth and acacia However this type of classification fails in proper placement of drugs containing two different types of chemicals for example certain drugs are found to contain alkaloids and glycosides in bracket cinchona bracket complete then fixed oil and volatile oils in bracket nutmeg bracket complete then fixed oil and enzymes in bracket bitter almond bracket complete together and hence makes it difficult to categorize them properly even though much importance is attached to this type of classification at present morphological system is the method of choice for practical purpose then the next class six chemo taxonomical classification This is recent approach to the study of classification of cool drugs wherein equal importance is given to their taxonomy and biogenesis The phytochemical scanning of several drugs have has revealed that there is a close relationship between chemical contents of the plant and its taxonomical status Earlier workers classified the algae into red, green and brown varieties but it was only during last 3 decades that modern methods of extraction and characterization of phytoconstituents have led to the chemical scanning of many thousands of plant species The status of berberian rutin and other flavonoids in species of higher plants is of chemotaxonomical significance then the next point difference between organized cool drugs and unorganized cool drugs in that first point in organized cool drugs as the term indicates these are organs of plants or animals and are up of cells or definite structure these drugs are named as flowers seeds fruits insects etc and in unorganized cool drugs these are derived from parts of plant or animal by some process of extraction and followed by purification if necessary for example juice extract resin etc second the organized cool drugs these are solid in nature and unorganized cool drugs these are solid semi solid or liquids in nature 
for example oils and balsams then third one in organized food drugs the botanical and zoological terminology can be used to describe these drugs and in unorganized food drugs physical characters like solubility in various solvents density optical rotation refractive index whichever is applicable then the fourth point of organized food drugs microscopic characters are one of the important criteria for the identification of organized food drugs examples digital in cinchona clo and in unorganized food drugs the chemical test and physical standards are confirmatory test for identification of these drugs example alo agar castor oil then the next point difference between leaf and leaflets in that first point in case of leaves buds or branch is present in the axil and in leaflets it is absent in leaflets then second point leaves are arranged spirally and they are solitary in nature and leaflets are arranged in pairs then third point leaves lie in different planes leaflets lies in the same plane then fourth point leaves are generally symmetrical at the base examples digitalis belladonna vesica leaflets are asymmetrical at the base examples senna neem and rose thank you